Uh, so this was sent into the channel by uh, Finercy. Actually, I requested this one. Um, I'm going to be doing a review of a new uh, combo multimeter oscilloscope. Um, but I asked them, hey, um, I'm really interested in one of these as well. So they sent this to me. Um, I've always just liked the looks of it. And uh, it has a feature that I, that I think is, is valuable. So um, we'll talk about that. It's a uh, transistor tester. Now, you know, I've got, I've got tons of these transistor testers now. I've got... Uh, Everybody, everybody makes. Well, oh, here's another for nursing one. Um, so uh, this one's kind of kind of big and bulky. This one's this one's a lot lot more sexy. Um, so uh, yeah. So let's talk about um, this thing. Uh, let's see. It's the model number. Model number. This is a model number. There we go. Uh, LCRP one. Um, and uh, so we can turn it on, a uh, little splash screen. If you take a part, let's say, you know, you put a, put a transistor in, push the test button, it's going to, uh, it does a test in process, and then it shows you, uh, it shows you a nice little color, color display, very hot HFE on this part, and to two, two milliamps. So yeah, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we can do things like uh, test test an LED. You can see it flash there when it's trying to run different voltages and currents and tries to figure out what it is. It says it's a diode voltage of 1.8. Uh, 1 uh, we could put in a blue LED, which will have a little bit higher, uh, higher um, VF. Let's see what it says. 3.4 volts. Uh, it'll do uh, other things like uh, inductors. All right, uh, value point three ohms. It's uh, L one o four point one microhenries. Um, let's see here. Uh, this is kind of a cool cool thing. If you had a potentiometer in a circuit. And you adjusted it. You could uh, you could come over here. You could push the button, and it'll tell you the two values of the how the uh, how the ten k pot was was adjusted. So that's kind of fun. Uh, let's see here. What else can we do? We can do capacitors. Uh, here's a capacitor. Uh, pop it in there. Uh, 987 picofarads at the 0.001, so that makes sense. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so it's got this um, uh, ZIF socket on here. Now, one of the weird things about this one is, look at this. It's got a removable daughter card for for the test socket. So you could build your own test sockets if you had something you really wanted to do. But it comes with this one. Okay, so you can pop this test socket on there. And now you've got these areas where you can put surface mount parts, okay? So let's see if we can grab a surface mount part and make one of these work. Um, let's see here. Here is a SOT23 part. Now, this is going to be very difficult. So first of all, you have to have it the right way around. And we're going to put it right in this little triangle here. And we're going to have to kind of push down on it while we push the button. And there we go. Tested our little surface mount uh, surface mount transistor. Let's put him back. Um, and it's got a couple of areas for diodes or and capacitors and inductors and things like that. So that's that's kind of a neat feature. Okay, let's go back to this one. Um, so one of the things that I'm excited about is uh, this button here. It says Zener, okay? So here we're gonna put a Zener. Now we have to use the part of the test socket that's labeled KAA, cathode and anodes, right? So we have to, you have to use that because it's gonna be putting high voltages here to do the testing. Um, and it says it's a 13.31 volt Zener. So the, the uh, voltage compliance 
is somewhere around 30 volts. All right, here we go. Uh, talks about uh, it's a lithium battery inside, transistor uh, betas 10 to 600, diodes it'll go up to four and a half volts. But then if you use that special area for uh, zeners, it goes up to 32 volts, um, 0.01 to 32 volts. Um, Pretty nice. So yeah, I like I like that feature a lot because I'm always looking to test zeners and this is this is the best way so far I've got uh, It's gonna be super super handy and then the other thing that I'll mention before leaving is um, Well, it's us USB-C comes with a charging cable comes with these uh, other uh, wires here, too So you can do things uh, off you can stick them in here into the uh, in the socket and then test something out with a clip of leads and stuff comes with all of that um but it also has a switch here that says I or decoding. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and push the test button. That will turn on, turn it on. And then I have a remote here, uh, and I if I shine the remote, it says, oh, ah, you just sent something, uh, and it gives you the uh, address and d address and uh, command, whatever it was. I'm gonna push different buttons here. You can see that. So. Um, one thing, if you get one of these, um, I looked to see where you should shine the light. <laughs> and there was a tiny little hole at the top, and I thought maybe that was it, but no. And then there's a little hole in the bottom, but no, that's not it. It's this grill right here. Um, that's where you want to, that's where you want to shine the light into that grill. Um, I'll show you some uh, close-ups of the PC board here, and you can sort of see the location of that uh, IR sensor module on there. And uh, anyway, um, looks interesting. There's some DC to DC converters on there. There's some, there's a five volt regulator. Looks like there's some op amps and stuff. Um, yeah, quite a bit of stuff to make it go, plus some, some uh, microprocessor. So yeah, there you go. Okay, well that was my review of the LCR-P1. I really like it.